Hello everybody, this is Digital Coleman, and I'm offering this brief introduction to Tesland, part of a series of three videos that will cover different aspects of getting around, minting, and uh, perhaps even living in your very own place on Tesland. Starting here on the website itself, uh, you may have already searched around uh, and noted a couple of things, one of which is one of the things you want to do pretty early on is go ahead and connect your wallet. You're connecting your wallet at this stage uh, mostly to participate in the auctions for new places. Those happen in batches about every week or so. Uh, you should go over to the Discord and uh, sign up for the whitelist, which will then enable you to buy on the primary market uh, in these auctions here. Uh, these are all secondary sales, uh, and so uh, a bit more expensive. Typically, you can buy your initial place for less than 10 Tez. So uh, do feel free to wait if you can be patient. If you don't want to be patient, well, you can uh, spend your money. I'll go ahead and connect my wallet now. I'm going to use a, Tez, a Temple wallet. You're also welcome to use Kukai. I'm assuming you're familiar with the Tezos ecosystem at this point. And I will need to grab my password here from a different window. And then it's going to ask to do this transaction to sign up your account uh, with Tesland's account. And so uh, at the moment, it does say I can buy these things if I want to spend that Tez. That's the main thing you'll need your wallet for at this point. But when we start exploring, your wallet will unlock your ability to buy uh, as well as uh, place objects on different places. Um, so that you can start to customize your Tesland location. Note here that there is a really great map that starts to show you the different district districts. Uh, I believe this is District 1, District 2, District 3, and I'm not sure how we've numbered uh, 6 and 7 yet, uh, but they're all here and growing quickly. Again, this is all within two weeks. Uh, all of this has already been sold out, and so many people are excited to join us. So, uh, the main way that you'll get around here is to actually go to Explore and uh, dig into Tesland. And when you're in Tesland, you'll see a couple of things. My Tesland now spawns at my place, which is place number 31. You're welcome to come visit me. Uh, but we do have a menu here to go to the hubs for the different districts. So I'm going to start over at District 1, hit this arrow to teleport to this location. And uh, this is the very first place that started. And we can actually look around and see the plots of land where people have made stuff and people have uh, left empty spots. Uh, this is actually the uh, place for the creator of Tez Land. So you can always see what he's up to and what he's been collecting. Plot zero, uh, but we've got lots of other really great plots and uh, experiences waiting for you. Uh, I'm using the WASD typical control keys. You can also use arrow keys to get around. Uh, those are all very classic. But you'll note when I hit escape, there is a control help bar that gives a whole bunch more keys that you might want to check out. Um, one of the things that is used quite a bit is the fly mode uh, and flying is a sort of great feature but what it essentially does is let you um, move out of your body so I'm going to hit G and now I can start to fly upwards I can go up here and see this great sculpture but uh, I'm still actually located on the ground and so it's important to note here that if I press G again boop. I'm all the way back down to the ground. So uh, don't, uh, even though flying lets you get around and see things like this really great uh, floating apartment up here, 
uh, flying is not actually your location in terms of placing things. Uh, beyond that, uh, you should look around. I think there is another uh, feature that's worth knowing, which is if you come up here to the explore uh, and you add just a little bit of code, you can actually teleport to any given number uh, that you want. And so to put in that teleportation code, which is mentioned in the Discord, but not in this controls panel, you want to add a question mark, which is kind of classic URL for uh, adding a command at the end of the URL. And then I'm going to use the term place ID. So P-L-A-C-E ID equals, and then I can put in any number. For instance, I'll go to my place again, 31, and it will teleport you to that location. It'll take a moment to load that in. And uh, then I can move around again. Uh, we can also jump, which is kind of nice if you have a little bump that you want to get over. Other than that, uh, feel free to run around. Uh, there is no run key. Actually, hitting the shift key will actually slow you down to a walking pace. Um, the idea is that you should enjoy the speed at which you can cross the landscape um, and uh, take everything in. So the next video we'll talk a little bit about minting and the last video we'll talk about customizing and placing things in your place in Tesland. Thank you very much.